Next into four rooms and hoping to stun the buyers into a life-changing deal is Vancouver artist Jeff Burnett. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Archie. What have you brought? Five one-of-a-kind glass spray guns. Where did you get the idea to make glass guns? Some friends of mine got together with me and we started making these guns and just sort of spiraled out of control. These are phasers. Lasers. Just so you guys know, you need to be trained professional if you're gonna hold something like this. What sort of feedback do you usually get? Usually pretty positive. Zap. Zap. I've sold guns to NASA astronauts. I've sold glass to Mark Parker from Nike. Make my day. Say hello to my little friend. And I had more fun making these guns than probably any of the other guns I've ever made. Who would you see buying this, though? What kind of collector is going to buy this? Someone who really enjoys lasers and phasers. Nerds with really good taste. Expensive taste. Buyers, this is Jeff. Are you an artist? Do you do this for a living? Yeah, yeah. It's a match set that I made myself. The glass is jammed into an optics mold first, it's blown, right. and then it's pulled and twisted at the same time. The green one, there's a piece inside of that. Mm -hmm. And if you look inside of it, it's almost like there is actually a ray coming out of that gun. I really like that little blue one with the red handle. I tell you what, once I buy them, I'll, I'll, sell, I'll sell you that one. <laughs> <laughs> have you had an exhibit or a show where prices have been documented? Uh, the last piece that I sold was to a show in Vancouver, $2,200 for the big one. And then the small guns are 600 I want to remind you that we're all here as dealers. We're all looking to buy it, to resell it. Mm -hmm. It's important to keep in mind when we negotiate. Okay. Thank you, buyers. We'll see you in your rooms. So who would you like to visit first? I think Eddie. Let's take care of him first. Bring out the big guns, Jess. That's right. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. So do you only do ray guns? No, I do all kinds of things. Basically, they don't pay the rent. Mm -hmm. But I like doing the guns more than anything. So. And what are you asking today for the five? I'm thinking probably around 10 grand because it's a match set. I mean, for me, to be honest with you, and I'm honest with everybody, if I buy them, I'm going to sell them for under five because I sell it in auction. Well, you guys are all seem to be pretty happy about those pieces. I love them. Thank you. But I think I love my money more. So my offer to you today, Jeff, is $2,200. $2,200 doesn't even cover the cost of one of the big guns. You're out of your mind. Nice meeting you, buddy. <laughs> Now, Jeff must convince art history scholar Derek Martin to shell out for his futuristic art. I love your ray guns. I think they're really, really cool objects. How fast are you even selling these? So the big ones don't sell as fast, the small ones sell. The thing is, you know, as a dealer, uh, you know, I, yeah, I wouldn't be paying retail, obviously. For the whole collection, I could give you an offer of 2500 But There's no way I'll keep the set for 2500 bucks. Yeah. If Jeff hopes to reach his top price, he will need to stun Jessica into adding something slightly more space age to her collection. Ray guns. I really like these. I think that's probably about the nicest set that I've ever done. What's there? You're looking at about, I'd say around 10 grand. $10,000 for this set. I can't get just one. No, 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 no. I could do 2,000. For one gun. For all of them. Well, no, 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 no. 3,000. I'll go down to eight grand. Sorry, I can't do it. I don't need five laser guns. I just wanted one. With a gallery in downtown Vancouver, Scott is Jeff's last hope for a four rooms showcase. I imagine you've probably seen a couple of the other Buyers, did you get anything close to what you wanted? No, not even close. So what does that tell you? Does it tell you that... You know, I think it tells me that they don't appreciate the guns and that they're cheap. Ooh, this fighting words. I know what they sell for retail. Your collection there, I think, is nine grand. Mm -hmm. That's your retail price. Okay, this is how I see it. You know I gotta resell them. Totally, That's the yeah, idea. totally. 
and I have a gallery on Gravel Street. Mm -hmm. I think for you, you want to have them exposed as much as possible, right? Oh, totally. That's the idea. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. Mm. I'll pay 2500 You know, like, I worked hard on those pieces. Uh, yeah. I'd like to try them. I'm just telling you I want to try them. Five grand, take the whole batch. Okay, I'll throw three out. That's it. Like, if I take those guns and sell them myself, it'll end Go to 45 And that's that's a smoking deal. <laughs> Sky, come on, man. I'm a star regard Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try yeah. not to nickel and dime me. Three thousand dollars for my offer. I can't do it for three grand. So, Jeff, seems like they were all lowballing you. What a bunch of cheap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think they really appreciated what was involved in making those pieces. I don't make the stuff just to give away. Mm -hmm. I like the guns. It might be something I regret, but for now, I'm okay with it. I can live with it. Unable to target an acceptable price, Jeff's ray guns will remain the stuff of science fiction. <laughs>